for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymaddencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video. And today, we got the daily market talk. And it's not so daily. It's more like a, a weekly market talk. But anyways, I haven't been doing many of these as I much as I used to, only because with Madden being dead, obviously, there's less people who really care about the market. But I got some good feedback, so I assume there's still a decent amount of audience that wants to watch it, because everything else I post on my channel does not seem to be actually cared about. So it seems like this is the only thing left that people still kind of... It's kind of still relevant, I guess, to you guys. Didn't think it would be, but it is. And then the Madden 20 stuff should probably become more relevant in the coming months. So that's obvious. I can care less if that doesn't do too well right now. I still got it. Still trying to get all that content out to you guys. But anyways, guys, if you've been enjoying the content, make sure to drop a like. Let's try to get this video to 50 likes. Also, if you're new to the channel, if there's anyone still new coming at this time of the year, let's see if we get us to 20 subs. Let's see if you could you guys sub. I didn't even, I'm not, it's not a like. I don't know. I'm, I'm tired, guys. I'm tired. So anyways, guys, let's get into this video. So first things first, let's go over to the auction block. So I was looking at it before I got on, before, obviously before I do every video, I look into the market first. And what I came across was that it's kind of dead right now, but like in a bad way, you come over to the 98s, go to the ultimate legends. It looks like, I guess with the lack of content this week, it's been kind of dead. So if you see these cards are like 180, they're kind of they're like way up right now. So if I was you guys, I would sell them. I guess like it was last week, the last week of packs. Hmm, now that's the difference maker right there. If there's still gonna be ultimate legend packs, which I think there will be, and this Saturday should be they should come down again. But it does not look like I think these cards are kinda done for the year, that's about it. They kinda lost their uh you know their, their sparkle, right? They're not that not that important anymore with every card being a ninety nine. But if you want like a Vic or a Lawrence Taylor, Vic was like 220, 230 yesterday, so I would highly recommend not getting him right now at 292. I would wait. And these Night Train Lane, this Ray Niche, have you seen him? Walter Payton, Chad Ochocinco, Calvin Johnson, these are all down. So I would definitely wait on the majority of these cards for the time being, obviously, because it's not worth it right now, especially with no content being dropped. It just, it's never a good idea to ever buy a card when there's no content being dropped. It's just, it's just not a good idea. If there's no content, that means there's no flow in the market. And if there's no flow, cards are stagnant, they're, they're gay, they're going up in value. When there's constant flow, there's constant undercutting, which means there's constantly good prices. Now, if we head over to the 96, 97s, the issue looking here now is that there's so many 96s that aren't the full legend, but you can still find them. Like at the Brian Young 150, with these cards, we're getting like 120, so I would still wait for these cards. And these are kind of good, honestly. 97 overalls. Ooh, 97 overalls for 120k full ultimate legend. That's really cheap. If you power and can these guys up, you can probably get them all to 99s. So you can essentially get 99 overalls for 120. This game's this game's just like at a point where everyone could be 99 overall too easily. Now, let's go check out these newer cards, which are gonna be the NFL draft promo. But let's go up a little bit. Let's go see what uh, Kyler Murray's at. I'm gonna tell you guys how much these went down. So Devin White's at 209, Nick Bosa at 215. They haven't moved much. They actually went kind of up, to be honest. These cards right here. Where's Kyler? Damn, he's far down. 330. All right. Is that horrible for a 99 overall? Not to be honest, not that bad. For especially for a new 99 overall. I, I really do want to try him out to be honest, but he's kind of a little expensive right now. Like he's not, but he is. He should be more in like the 280 range, 290 range. So I'll be waiting on that one to go down. Because obviously he's he's better than Vic, but Vic can be powered up and has a lot more options, I'm pretty sure. So that's the one thing that kind of hurts him there. Now let's go down. I'm gonna see where my boy Daniel Jones is at. Dwayne Haskins is at 130. It's not bad. If stats are okay. If I was just starting what, I would really enjoy these cards. I really would. But with the team I have in place, with the way the game's at, it's kind of hard to play with any of these cards right now. Where's my boy Daniel Jones? There he is. I probably passed him already, but this one's not too bad either. I kind of like the 84 speed. It's just not usable now. But like earlier in the year, this card would have been a beast. I wish I could have tried this card out. I don't even really like Daniel Jones, but he's a giant now. So I'm going to give him a chance. I have to give him a chance. Hopefully, he's something. As far as these go, um, also, I guess this goes into market talk, guys. Start saving your coins up. Your rookie premieres will be coming. I'm not sure if they're soon. That's more of like a, a late June, early July thing. But remember, that's only like a month to month and two months away. So, I would wait. Start making. If you're going to work the market, work it now. Get your coins in because come June, July, you're going to need those coins. 
to go ahead and do these rookie premieres that are very worth it every time. People complain, you know, but you can't complain about having a 98 Saquon Barkley and a 96 Bradley Chubb. And there's just no complaining about that. If I have to guess, hmm, probably Kyler Murray. It's pretty, it's a pretty good one. You know, they'll give, they're gonna give Kyler Murray cards just because he was the first overall. So I'll definitely be having Kyler Murray. They have to. They have to give Kyler Murray one. They actually didn't get Baker Mayfield one last year, right? I just realized that and there was no Baker Mayfield. But if they do give him one, that'd be really cool. And I definitely get it because you're not gonna give him cards. There will be probably a Devin White. That'll be a good one. A good user linebacker. And um Jesus, light just blinded me for a second. And who's the other guy? Daniel Jones, he is he is six. So they might give him one, but I don't know if I trust that one with him being the backup for the Giants. Now, the rest of them, Quinn and Williams, that could be a really good one. Have a guy on the line all year. Josh Allen, Devin Bush. And Oliver, TJ Hawkinson maybe, because there was Hayden Hurst last year. This could be a pretty good set of rookie premieres, so I would definitely save for them. There's no reason not to. They're just like free cards. And if you're done with this year anyways, don't be done with your coins. Don't pop packs. If you're done with this year, just start saving for next year because you're going to come back to Madden 20. And instead of wasting so much money on packs, you can have cards already on the next team. And trust me, it's really fun the first week to have the cards ready. It really is. Like It was kind of cool when I had Saquon 88. And Bradley Chubb, like 80 something on a team where I was no money spent, so it's pretty cool. Now, let's go check the color smash players, see what they're setting up. But that we're getting close to the end of this video, I've kind of I've kind of covered all it needs to be covered. These 97s are 150, okay, so that's kind of the standard price for uh, 97s right now, but I think they should be at 120, so I definitely wouldn't touch any of these yet, just yet at least. Now, where oh, I gotta go by overall 98 99s, okay, so these right here. A little overpriced still, but I guess it's because they go into that set. Truthfully, I probably wouldn't touch the majority of this market right now. I'd probably stay off of it. I'd wait. I'd sell. Sell everything you have right now. I should probably start selling things too so I can have my coins to work from here. If not, I'm going to be screwed. Yeah, I'd probably start selling my team soon. It's not worth keeping it at this point of the year. I'm not really playing the game in so much like the gameplay wise. And rookie premiere is coming and everything else. Golden tickets. Every, every second you guys sit with your team, the more value they're losing by the second right now. So just, just toss them, get rid of them, and then just start waiting and waiting and waiting for your premieres. And you don't have to really wait because if you're done playing the game, it's not like you're waiting around anyways. Just get the coins, put them away in like the bank, just save them in your, in your game, get off the game, come back in two months and just do your premieres because they can get kind of pricey at times. But it's definitely worth it. It definitely is. That's about it, guys. I hope you guys have been enjoying all the market talk lately and i'm going to try to keep this as a regular thing until like truthfully there's just no more support and people are i can just tell people are done i'm going it's going to be a grind to keep grinding all these madden videos all through the summer because like think about it this game was falling off back in what well, late february early march we began to start falling off a little bit so just imagine it is may it is now may 3rd and we got I got I'm going to be doing this all the way until July 30th or whenever Madden eventually comes out which I'm pretty sure is like right there. But honestly I'm doing Madden 20. I cannot wait for Madden 20. I'm so excited. It's going to be a fun time. It really is going to be a really fun time. I cannot I'm, I'm I cannot explain how excited I am for Madden 20 to finally put in a new game, start with a brand new team, start over, start the grind again, get to content creating. It's going to be an awesome time and I'm just happy I have a channel this year to go about it too because the, man, the new Madden's always fun, right? But with the channel, it's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna love making new content. I haven't had a chance to make content on a new game yet, and I'm so excited to do so. It's just so much content. I can't, I just, I'm like overwhelmed by it. I'm getting content creator anxiety just thinking about it. I'm way excited for this new game and doing market talks on there when there's new stuff coming out, new content, covering the content. I'm gonna be trying to knock out like three to four videos a day when Madden 20 drops, so. It's going to be a great time, guys. Hopefully, you guys stick around. And for all you guys who are new, hop on. You don't have to watch me now. Just hit the sub button now, and you won't regret it come September. Because I promise you, you'll probably be coming back around then if we can keep this momentum going. Hopefully. The odds of me not being there are zero. So, I hope I'm there. Come Madden 20, and I hope I still have momentum. I hope uh, Madden 19 hasn't killed me yet. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content. If you have, make sure to drop a like. Be sure to comment down below what you guys think about the market, if you guys even care anymore. And also, drop a sub if you could. I'd really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.